Hello, welcome back. Uh, in the last videos, we discussed about how to build an information management system. And in this in this video, we are going to take our first baby step, actually how to build one. So you must have you must have already seen a lot of internet-based application. And let's take an example of an uh, e-commerce uh, website. So an e-commerce uh, application. Okay. So. Uh, in context of this e-commerce application, we'll understand what is the database they need, and uh, we'll design one backend database for an e-commerce site. So before I want to describe about those things, so let's go and see like how an e-commerce site uh, looks like and how it works. So in my example, I have a, a company called ABC Company. ABC Company sells uh, different things like hardware, games, DVD, gadgets, and all those things. And whenever you go to their uh, front page, which is catalog page, you will see uh, exactly something like this. So a product and the price. And then if you like some product or something, let's say you want to buy a Samsung tab. So you click on this and then you just review, you know, information about, uh, about this thing. And then you say that, okay, I like it. And then you add to the cart and you want one item or if you want multiple items, you can put it here and then you say check out. So if you check out and then it will ask you uh, if you are a new customer or returning customer. Let's say I'm a new customer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an account. Okay. So I'm going to create an account here. So first name is uh, John and last name is uh, Kalmar and date of birth is say something about 93 June 15 and email address uh, john at gmail.com and then uh, I'll give my address because that's where they're going to send and let's say send is in 786 Palo Alto Avenue and then postcode is uh, 98765 city is Palo Alto State California and then country say US. Okay, and then I have to give my telephone number. Say just just give some random numbers and then give my password. I'm say password is welcome on, welcome on, and then I say continue. Okay, so account has been created and then remember I was uh, and I say continue. So and if I continue, then it will ask me. Uh, what is the shipping method and then I say that uh, flat rate uh, five dollar shipping method and then I say comments please send me ASAP and say continue so this is the billing address they're going to send me send me the um, the gadgets and then I say that I will I'll I'll give you money when you deliver so cash and delivery also I can use PayPal and whatever okay and I say continue and I say confirm order Okay, so your order has been processed and then they are basically sending me a Samsung Galaxy tab. Okay, I say continue. So this is the process. So basically, uh, so let's uh, again just summarize what we did. So we browse the e-commerce site and then depending on the category and depending on the product, we choose one product, then we, or we order one. Okay, so all these things happened over the internet. Okay, so essentially what we want to uh, deal uh, from now onwards is that how do I create, how do I build a database system for this kind of application. So while we are building this database system, we are going to uh, give you all the concepts like what is a primary key, what is a normal normalization and all those things. 